I have with me a very important award here today. And it's my privilege to actually give this award out to a man that I've known for decades. We grew up together coaching here at Charter Oak. We started travel ball teams out of Charter Oak and the teams were in the top 10 in the nation. This is a man who has dedicated his life to this league and still has grandchildren here playing each and every season. This is a man who just before Christmas had a stroke. This is a guy who nothing, nothing can keep him down. And I am telling you, when you walk into the hospital and you see this man walking very shortly after this stroke, doing the impossible, that tells you what he had in him coaching our kids out here. His name is Donnie Neblis, and he stands here today as a testament not only to himself, but to this league, to what all of you coaches stand for out there. Now, each one of you coaches out there, I'm gonna tell you, I coached here for a dozen years at least. Sometimes we forget where we are because we don't like to lose, right? Is that right? But I am going to tell you that everybody that comes out here that plays Charter Oak Baseball is a winner. Everybody. And all of you coaches who are dedicating your time, you're winners. Let's just remember where we are and that this is for fun. But I will tell you, as I look across this field right here, right now, the young ladies and the young men are future college players. Somebody out here is gonna go pro. We don't know who that is, but what you do to teach and train them is the most important thing in their life right now. And this young man, Donnie, can you make your way up here? Yes. Mm. I just want to say one last thing about Donnie Neblis. And this is my little grandbaby right here, by the way. Um, I just want to say to Donnie that as a man, as a coach, as a person, when I heard the news that he was in trouble, my heart sank down below this dirt. But I knew it was Donnie Neblis, and I knew today he'd be standing here to receive this award. And God is my witness. This is one of the greatest people you'd ever meet. And if you get a chance today, come by and shake his hand. Than that is to receive this award from Bob Lindsay. I have so much respect and admiration for Bob. I've learned so much from him. He mentored me and got me on the right track. Over 25 years ago, I came uh, and brought my daughter Diane into the league. Uh, we, I think it was the Raspberry Rippers. <laughs> we were the Raspberry Rippers. Uh, you know, but uh, Bob uh, took took her uh, in as family, and uh, I, I I learned uh, so much from her. But uh, as far as all of you coaches, I think uh, I'm really proud that we have so many people that are in, in the, as first responders, sheriffs, police uh, departments from uh, the, the outlying areas, uh, fire, fire people, people that are contractors, people that run restaurants, people that uh, are totally involved in the community. And for you to come back, it's really great to see. And I really uh, appreciate uh, our goals, which is to provide uh, a safe haven for our children, the boys and girls of the community. So keep up the good work. Uh, you know, uh, Diane came back and she's been uh, in charge of the league and I'm really proud of her for the job she's done. Uh, and also I'd like to say, you know, last <coughs> year was one of our, our most successful years. This is Diane's third year in charge of Charter Oak. And last softball year, that. softball, uh, she actually uh, had one of the most successful years ever for in Charter Oaks history. Uh, in a, every age, uh, every age division, we, we took the majority of the tournaments in All Stars. 
and it's great. And we were, the highlight of it all was to go to San Diego to Qualcomm Stadium and uh, for the state, quality, state uh, tournament, really great. And all you families, everybody uh, that has been involved, uh, I just congratulate you all. You guys have been a big factor in making this season successful. All right, thank you. And uh, I, I just want to say I love my granddaughters, I love my kids. <laughs> uh, you know, uh, they're cutting me short, so <laughs> <laughs> I just have to say thank you all. <laughs> My name is Bob Lindsay. Let's take the politics and the politicians out of law enforcement.